Check, Jason. check, check your audio. Check, 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 check your audio. Check, check, check. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Steve in second grade. I was homeschooled in kindergarten and first grade and then I came to OCS in second grade and he was there. And the first thing I ever remember about him is he fell asleep in class and our teacher just let him sleep. I have no idea why. And he woke up and he looked at the door and he looked at the trash can and he looked at the door and then he looked at the trash can and he starts running towards the trash can and he threw up in the trash can in the classroom. That's the first thing I ever ever remember about Steve. You know, I, I mean, I kind of liked her the best out of all of them, but at the same time I couldn't because she could run faster than me and that was a big competition in second grade. And it's girls versus guys, you know. Couldn't like the girl because she ran faster than you. That was just sin. Nothing really came about until college when my brother started keeping their snowmobiles out at Steve's house. They, they liked riding with me because I was a little crazier, you know. And she would come along once in a while to ride with us or whatever. And that was a that was pretty pretty neat factor in a girl, you know, snowmobiling and dirt biking and such like that. Outdoors type, I, cause that's part of me. And if I found another mate to do the same kinds of things that I'd like to do, well, I mean, it would just be more fun cause two's company is better than a single duck, I guess. Kind of just saw how compassionate and like his attitude of servanthood that he had he would just fix anything for anyone or give us gas when we ran out of gas or just all those little things and I was just like oh this guy's really sweet he's not the guy I remember in fourth grade who flicked spitballs at me and wrote me notes and her family would always go up north and go on these snowmobiling trips and whatnot so I was I was being convinced by her brothers to tag along because they well I love snowmobiling they love snowmobiling they thought it'd be a great enjoyment for me, so I went for it. And so we went up there and I like I knew I liked him then. And it was it was really funny. We were sitting there watching Karate Kid at my at my grandma's and we were sitting right next to each other, like arm in arm, we're all like shoved on this couch. And I was just like sitting there waiting for him to hold my hand and, and like, oh is he gonna, is he gonna? And I just like you could just tell, it's just one of those moments you can tell. It's just like it's about to happen. Man, should I touch your hand? Should I not touch your hand? That movie's forever long, like two and a half hours. He didn't hold my hand and I was like, okay, we'll, we'll see. Her brothers, they were trying to tell me how to, you know, have a girlfriend, because I'd never had one. We took a trip to Cole's, me, Kevin and Kendrick, and they picked out my outfit and they picked out my shoes and just about everything I needed. And then they cleaned out my car and I was like, do I really need all this stuff? And convincingly they said, yes, you really do. So I drove up there, nervous, nervous wreck. And I got there and then she was waiting for me. And her friends were looking out the window like, oh, hi, let's see how you dressed or whatever. And my friend Casey from the third floor yells out the window, hey, Steve, get out of the car so we can see your outfit. And so he gets out of the car and he spins around for her and I was like, what in the world? So then we went to this place in Dinkytown, I think, and it was like a pasta place or whatever. Went to Loring's Pasta Bar. I'd been wanting to go there. It's a really fancy restaurant and it was pretty good. It was really expensive and fancy, but the food was good. You know, I took her back and then I think we hugged maybe. Maybe not. I don't, maybe we shook hands or something. But <laughs> we were technically dating now and never having a girlfriend, you know, I'd seen all these movies about like a first kiss and last like six minutes in a film and I was a little a little skeptical on this. I was like, I don't know if that's possible for me, but we'll see. Maybe that's how they do it. It's his first kiss and so here I am expecting this like really quick little kiss, right? And he kissed me for like two minutes straight. It was the funniest thing. And later on she told me that it's not how it works because you're supposed to just puppy kiss or something right away and news to Steven. I wish they would have informed me of that. We both love to be outside and so we'd like go dirt biking a lot or go snowmobiling or um, do stuff out at his farm but then I also like to drag him up to the cities lots and like I like to be the girl and go on the fancy dates and do things in the cities and whatever I thought I could do to impress her I would I would try it so 
I remember this one time, it was in the winter, and I just bought this snowmobile, and it was pretty, uh, it had some power. It had some power, and I got on it, and there just happened to be a little dip, you know, to start the wheelie off, and it came up, you know, like normal, and then all of a sudden it went really far back, and then it flipped over on me. I was laying there, you know, just sulking in my sore thumbness, but I was okay, you know, I had to be a man about it. I couldn't, you know, wuss out because, well, she was there. So she she looked at my thumb and she's like, oh, it'll be okay. Uh, so, you know, she, she likes to take care of me. I like that in a woman and, you know, stuff like that. And then she also cuts my hair. That's kind of nice. The first time that I knew um, Steve was the right one for me is the first time he told me he loved me. It was just like, it was just a really big moment. We took a long time to tell each other that we loved each other and it was just this really like sweet, heartfelt thing and it was, I don't know, it was just a really big deal to us and I just felt like the most important, the most like precious thing in the world to him and I was just like, oh my goodness, this is, this is so real. And uh, now I'm 21, you know, you don't know well, too much about getting married unless you're going to school where she was, where everyone was getting married. At this point, I don't really know if I want to spend my life with anyone but her, so, you know, I was just more nervous about asking the parents, probably, than anything. I was nervous, but Terry was, she was all smiles, and Jeff, he was, he was, he was Jeff, you know, and they said yes, of course. So did Steve ask you guys yet? And they were just like, no, Megan, stop asking. And so I had no idea this proposal was coming, no idea. It came down to like two rings, and then I, picked out the one I thought was more pretty because it sparkled a lot more. For the two years we had been dating, I had been bothering him about taking me on a truck date because I, I wanted to go camping like in the back of the truck and lay under the stars and sit there with like pillows and blankets and play games and have a picnic and um, so anyways, didn't happen for the two years we were dating. So we decided to go on this truck date and we couldn't figure out like how we were gonna have light out there so we went to Walmart and decided well we'll just use old-fashioned candles and we got candles and we went to Jimmy John's because Jimmy John's is my favorite and um, got coke out of glass bottle and Fanta and I was a little unsure about how I wanted to do it I wanted to be smooth but I didn't want it to you know I, I didn't want it to be too smooth where she would find out and I'm all excited because it's my dream date and it was just perfect and it was really actually, it was cool. It wasn't cold, but it was cool. So like I had a blanket on and I didn't want to wear like my bulky coat, but Steve kept his coat and I was like, okay, should I think anything of it? No, I, I, I won't think anything of it. But so I'm just so happy and like so in love and so thrilled out there. So I'm, I'm, I eat half of my sandwich and I'm just like, oh, I can't eat anymore. I'm just so happy. And um, so anyways, we're sitting there and so he goes, okay, let's play a game. And I'm like, okay. So he's like, you have to stand up. So here I stand up and I'm just taking pictures, not paying attention. And while he's, while I'm taking pictures, he like digs in his coat and grabs the ring. And so then he stands up and I, I hug him and then I just look at him and he's like, tears off a little bit. And I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, I got down on one knee, blah, blah, blah. I asked her to marry me. She said, yeah, absolutely. With a tear in her eye, you know, that's, that's good. Is this real? Is this real? I can't believe this is real. I just, like, you don't comprehend what's happening. I, I just didn't understand what was happening. And so I see this huge ring on my fingers, and I'm just, I'm so excited. And um, it was just, after that, it was just like this really magical and precious moment. I don't know how else to describe it, but he, uh, he prayed for me, and he prayed for our future, and he prayed for our family, and just, it was just like this sweet, amazing moment. And, and I mean, it was, it was a pretty good night. It, not too much could ruin it. Absolutely. <laughs> not I'm, a doubt. I'm wrong all the time. Not a, yeah, but I make you think you're right. <laughs> it's not worth the ramifications of not <laughs> agreeing with you. On okay. Issues. Five. Or four. I can, I can do five. But it has to be one boy, one girl, and then three boys. In that order. Okay. Me. <laughs> the woman's always right, so I agree. <laughs> but 
it depends on what it is. If you really want something, you're stubborn too. Once in a great while. Once but... in a great while, but not very often. Mm -hmm. But I'm 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 the stubborn one. That's it. Me. He spends money. I save money. She thinks she saves. Money. She spends. I do. She spends more money on little things. I spend more money on big things. Yeah, he just goes out one day and he'll buy a. Two thousand dollar snowmobile. Look what I brought home today. Oh, lovely! How almost, does that even compare to my? I almost hid it from you. You're messier than I am. Okay, every time I've went in your room, it's a it's a disaster. You know what? You know what? His room is perfectly clean. You want to know why? Because his mom cleans it for him. Now, if his mom doesn't touch his room, it's a disaster. It is a disaster. Look at your car. Your mom doesn't clean your car. Is your car a mess? Is my car a mess? Okay, right now there's some boxes in it, but you can't look at my messy. car. My, I clean my room on a consistent basis. I like clean it once a week, and then it builds up some piles of clothes that are clean clothes. I just don't put them away. I hate putting my clothes away, and then I put them away. Oh, messy. So it just depends on the phase. No, that's not messy. <laughs> clean piles of clothes is not messy. I just keep dirty piles of clothes. That way I can put those dirty clothes back on when I go back out and do dirty things. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's my Sunday school answer. Mm -hmm. No, we both really love the Lord, and like that's the center of our relationship, and that's like... It's the triangle, Steve, Megan, Jesus. And so we just like, it brings us closer together that God is at the center and the focus of our relationship. And I think that this is really dumb, but I think that we're opposites makes us work. Like magnets. Yeah, like magnets. Opposites attract. We're very different people, but in, alike in the important thing, so. <laughs> we're both smoking hot. I think that's the main reason. Really no. I've never got a ticket. There's, I haven't either. You've gotten pulled over more than Steven. Yeah, like three, three times. Four remember times. that? Remember that one time you were driving and you started to swerve, then you took both your hands off the wheel and started tapping it. That, no, that's not a good driver. <laughs> I was that's scared. Sketchy. I didn't know what to do. You're supposed to grab it for me. That's your job. Grab it for you. Grab the wheel. Oh, okay. Uh, that no. <laughs> no. He's a better driver. He really is. Yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs>